going on guys? Jurassic Guest here. Today we are checking out a new software that's available on Steam. So it is an application that's releasing sometime soon, but you are able to actually sign up for the beta right now to test it out. So let's go and get into it. Software is called PowerNap Ultimate Game Updater. Basically, you can sit there and have it so it automatically opens like Steam, Epic Games Store, Battle.net, whatever all your game launchers is while you're either asleep or at work or something, and it'll sit there and update your games for you. Then it'll just automatically turn your computer either off or go into sleep mode. That way you're not wasting too much power. So let's see what all it can do. I'm going to wake up at your computer to set time every night or while you're at work, automatically open all of your game launchers and put your display to sleep. Automatically close all of your game launchers and sleep your PC when your updates are done. Click here to see an example of how this is set up. Uh, looks like the click here is not working at the moment, but we're just going to click next. We should be able to figure it out. You can also manually start a power nap. This is perfect for situations where you have a big upload or download to do before going to bed or before going AFK. This can also be more reliable than automatic power naps because it lets you make sure that your downloads are queued. Step one, launch all of your game libraries with one click. Step two, put all of your screens to sleep with one click. Step three, walk away and power nap will automatically shut down or sleep your computer when your downloads and or uploads are finished. All right, so important, changing the setting will allow PowerNap to continue Steam downloads while it's in, while it is open. It should only take about 10 seconds to change the setting and we highly recommend it. This will not affect your settings for other games and apps. All right, so basically you wanna click on it. You wanna go over to properties. Come down over to the update tab. Pause background downloads while I'm playing and allow background downloads. So basically while you're playing games, it'll download. That's basically how any consoles work modern day also, so you shouldn't see too big of a performance drop, but if you are noticing issues while streaming or anything like that, then I would definitely keep that how it was set up originally. Alright, let's see here. We recommend setting all your favorite Steam games to high priority updates. Okay, so that would be... Oh, the bottom there. There we go. You will manually change the setting for every game individually, but trust us, it's worth it. Basically, it makes sure that you get your updates ASAP. So like if there's some games that you play every now and then, obviously you don't necessarily want to have this waste your resources to do that. But if there's games that you play quite frequently or you know that maybe there's going to be an update the next day, it's definitely useful if you have high priority checked on. If you have a laptop, automatic power naps aren't working correctly. There are a few additional steps you may need to take to make sure the power naps are working as intended. Uploading a large file while AFK, web browsers don't keep your PC awake during uploads. Simply set PowerNap to analyze uploads in the controls and then start a PowerNap at the beginning of your upload. PowerNaps will keep your PC awake during the entire upload before simply putting your PC to sleep. Pin PowerNap to the task mask. Pin PowerNap to your taskbar for easy access. If your screens won't stay awake, then click or check that page out. And you can always ask them for feedback. All right, so when your downloads are complete, you can decide to exit launchers and sleep, shut down the computer, sleep computer, restart computer, exit power nap, exit all launchers, exit power nap and sleep, exit launchers and sleep, or do nothing. The each game store, Steam, Battle.net, Epic Games Store, Origin, etc. So it looks like we basically have to go in and find wherever we saved it on our computer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Each person's probably going to have it different, unless you have it on your boot up drive. So if you want to make it easier, you can always drag some of the information from like the taskbar down at the bottom of your computer to somewhere on your desktop. That way it's just right easy. And then all you have to do is click browse over to your desktop view and then just scroll down for whatever you're looking for and boom, you're done. I believe that is all of the main browsers that I have installed. So I'm going to go ahead and click start power nap. We have exit launchers and sleep. I feel like that's probably the best bet. That way, you know, if something is going on, at least it's still going to continue while it's in sleep mode. Shutdown computer can be useful. Maybe just exit all launchers. Yeah, we'll just do exit all launchers for now. We're not trying to go all crazy. Make sure games are queued and updating. Enable auto updates makes this step easier in some launchers. Steam likes to schedule updates for a particular time. Mainly start these right now. If all of your Steam games have high priority updates enabled, you can skip this step. The game libraries may need a little bit of clicking updates to get started too. All right. So good news is I am awful about actually updating my stuff. So we should have plenty of games to update. Yeah. So let's go and just start. Oh. Let's 
go ahead and just start all this stuff. And that should be about it. Now let's come back over here to that. That's all good. Click next. And now we just wait. So theoretically, whenever we're done, Power Nap should just automatically close itself out. So it looks like at the moment there's a little bit of issues with the whole downloads whenever it actually goes into the disk state where it just automatically shuts itself off. However, it seems to be working out pretty good. At least it got like, it went through about six or seven different applications. So obviously there's still some stuff to work out. I think it's pretty promising. So if we want to go into just how to set everything priority real quick. So we sort of skipped over it, which I mean, I don't know. I have like a whole bunch of random programs, so I'm definitely would not go through the whole list. But it was under the properties menu. Updates, automatic updates. You can click this button, then you can do high priority. Always auto updates this game before others. So basically this is going to have its priority. So whenever you launch Steam, it's going to at least try to do that. Then you can always have Paul's background downloads while I'm playing. So I mean, I feel like that actually gives you a little bit better performance most of the time. And then if you click this little down arrow here, make sure you have software selected. If you only have games selected, you will not see the power nap application. But oh, one more thing. It's actually pretty cool. It sits there in an auto updates the Epic Games Store and Blizzard also. So basically, when I click power nap, it opened both of those applications and it searched for things to update. But I had everything done there, so it wasn't really too big of a thing. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.